this southern girl from Tennessee cannot have bacon, cannot have pork, I cannot have beef, and I've learned to live with that. But I cannot do without my sawmill gravy. And if you want to keep that sausage grease or that bacon grease and make this sawmill gravy, you can do that too, but I'm going to show you how I make it. First, you'll need a saucepan, and no, not an iron skillet or a skillet. Grab a saucepan. It is so much easier to use and to clean up. Add about three tablespoons of oil in this pan. You can use the oil of your choice, but I'm using olive oil, and it works great, and you can't tell it's olive oil when I'm finished. Grab the flyer, and you are going to add two heaping tablespoons. Just make a paste here, and your paste needs to look like this. And if it doesn't, add a little more flour, add a little more olive oil or oil of your choice, and blend that together. It needs to look like a paste. And go ahead and pour a little milk in, Cut your stovetop aisle medium and slowly add that milk and blend that paste into that milk. You are not going to leave this for very long because if you do, you will have lumpy gravy. The key to making your gravy all nice and smooth is just keep stirring. Now we're going to add some cracked pepper and this cracked pepper really gives it a really bold peppery taste. And I also like to use ground pepper as well. I like the blend of both of them in my gravy. Now go ahead and keep stirring. You will stir, stir, stir. I do not have a recipe for this. I, this is guesswork. I'm guessing I used three tablespoons of oil, two tablespoons of flour, and about two cups to two and a half cups of milk. Once it gets to a full rolling bowl, don't let it boil too long. Go ahead and take it off that eye and pour it into a bowl because it will actually thicken as it sits in that bowl and cools down. And then you will have the perfect consistency and you can even put this in the refrigerator. It will last for up to about four days or so and eat it over toast in the morning. Add some sausage to this wonderful roux and you have a beautiful smooth gravy.